It is Sunday, June 24th, about 11 in the morning. It's already 90 degrees. It's forecast to be a high of 102 today. This is the bed that had lettuce in it in spring and now has black eyed peas, which are ripe. In some cases, they're getting ready to be harvested. I've thinned the bed some, but probably could have thinned it more. Next to it's the bed that used to have carrots, and it has these three volunteer tomato plants that came from the dishwater. And in the last week or so, since the carrots are long gone, I have transplanted in these peppers, although I think a couple of them, I think this one, is some sort of a tomato variety. And another bed that has some new transplants. It used to have cabbage and broccoli, which went to flower very quickly and didn't get eaten at all. But another massive volunteer tomato plant Just tried to fall over many times and I've tied it up onto this unusual kind of uh, non-traditional tomato cage. Here's another tomato that I recently transplanted. This is where the beets used to be and another volunteer tomato in there. The rest of that bed has some um, very brown, almost ready to harvest uh, cilantro, ready to harvest the coriander seeds and then parsley, which is still good. Hasn't needed much water at all. Here are the squash. I think this yellow squash here might have the worms in the roots. There was another one in the same mound that did. I couldn't bear myself to thin the mounds. That squash has never produced anything yet, but the cucumber next door is doing well. And I've already harvested a few from it. Here's a very unusual shaped one. And behind here is one tomato that has been growing from a seed that I planted in this bed. The tomato is now two feet high, flowering, looks like it might produce a bunch of basil in the same bed, and eggplant that is the very first thing that I bought an actual plant from the store to transplant. Everything else that you see is coming from seeds. These basil, I planted the seeds in the ground. These tomatoes were started from seeds inside. They're in plantable pots, which you can kind of see, and the tomatoes aren't doing too well. Here are three peppers, which I also actually did buy you know, little plants from the store to transplant, and found very quickly that they need to be staked if they're going to live in the ground, because they won't grow upright. That one has had a couple fruits that were partially edible. This one has a fruit that is going all right, not great. And I had one other that I ate that was great. And then here, another one falling over. More tomatoes. This is my best success story of a tomato seed that I started in the ground. Actually, no, I started this seed inside. And as well, these were seeds started inside. That little one's not doing so great. Here are just dug two days ago and planted yesterday. Mounds with new squash, three different varieties. We shall see if they turn into anything good. And then corn. There are 10 stalks out of 12 that have made it. And I'm considering planting a second pl uh, planting of corn to get a second crop later on. 
And then finally is a bed that has not been planted yet, but I'm going to transplant some tomatoes and peppers that are still in their yogurt cups, their second size of container after their initial inside seedlings. So there's the whole garden.